A PUSH TO GET VOTERS REGISTERED IS IN FULL GEAR AHEAD OF IN-PERSON VOTING. COMMUNITY LEADERS GATHERED EARLIER TODAY TO GET PEOPLE READY FOR THE DAY. CW50'S CHRIS WALKER HAS MORE. National Voter Registration Day brings the Biden-Harris campaign back to the battleground state of Michigan. Tuesday, Senator and Vice Presidential Candidate Kamala Harris made a stop in Flint with local business owners before meeting with clergy and political figures for a shop talk in Detroit, an open conversation with black men about their voting power in the general election. It, it was very important to me and to us that we be here on Seven Mile Road. All right. Which history teaches, for those who don't know, is one of the most significant roads of black businesses in America, black owned businesses in this neighborhood. And while Senator Harris pushed for voters on the city's northwest side, community organizers were in the shadows of the CAS corridor, signing people up to vote who suffer from housing security. Some of them became homeless because of evictions, um, slum lords, things of that nature, losing their only source of income, being single parents. The list goes on. Um, and so the pandemic, of course, that's affecting everybody, but that only multiplies and quantifies the issues that people who are in shelter have already been experiencing. Michigan eligible voters can register through election day with a current driver's license, state ID, utility bill, bank statement, pay stub, government check, or any other government document. Our role, our job here, a part of this initiative is to make sure that everybody is included in this process, that everybody has the opportunity to engage civically in our democracy. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.